Hello everyone, today I'm back with another video involving my new experiment that I started yesterday. But first off, I'd like to thank every, everyone for supporting the channel. We've reached 40 subscribers. Yippee! Small victories. And I hope to continue growing, so if you are watching this video, feel free to click that subscribe button. And also, if you enjoy it, don't forget to give it a like. But for this video in particular, I'm looking for the comments down below of the experienced posh markers who have dealt with NWT or new with tags items. Uh, this is something that I went out and bought on a whim because I was out shopping with some friends and found a good deal. So with that being said, let's take a look at the actual men's section and the sold items for new with tags. So what I found after analyzing these items, one, there's a lot of swimwear. Why? Because you can sell swimwear only if it's new as well as underwear. So that's why we'll be seeing those items as well as some of the more well-known brands like Nike, Under Armour, Adidas, and then Gucci and the more luxury items. That's what seems to fit the NWT or new with tags items that have sold, at least from what I've seen. I did take a glance over at the women's thing and it really seemed like a lot of accessories sold well when they were new, such as purses, uh, any sort of jewelry, and then also the underwear and swimwear as well. With that being said, the items that I bought kind of fall into these categories. Uh, I bought two items, and the first, the major one, was this Adidas retro jacket. And this is a pretty cool jacket in my opinion. Uh, it's black and white, so very classy. And then also features uh, this little reflective stripe that goes throughout the jacket. So you could be walking around like your own nightlight outside when car lights are shining on you. Uh, I did pay a little more for this jacket. So as you can see, it's listed for 40 bucks, but the retail tag actually listed 90 So I thought it was a good deal. One thing I want to know with these NWT items, uh, here's the other one. It's a pair of socks, so not really that big a deal. I got them cheap uh, on the way to the checkout, and I thought, hey, I might as well try this. But again, one thing that I want to know from these items is first off, do these sell and do they sell well enough that you can actually make money on them? Two, does having these in your closet actually help grow your closet? And three, will these be something that I can source regularly in the future? Is there like a spot that you go where you know that you can buy these cheap new clothes and resell on Poshmark? I know that's kind of like giving your secret sauce recipe, but I think there's enough of us on this platform that that's something you could share and not necessarily hurt your business. So again, if you have any of those answers, do, do answer them in the comment section and help me with my business because right now I am at negative $189 with one sale to my name. But that's okay because I'm just starting and I'm growing pretty fast with over a thousand followers now. So uh, things are looking up. But I would like to get out of that negative for profits and actually be in the positive. So with that being said, I'll be looking for your answers and I will respond to anything that you post in the comment section. Why? Because I've only had two comments so far on videos. But again, we capped that 40 subscriber mark and we're just going to keep on growing from here. For my next video, I have planned out to talk about how I plan on managing my inventory, in particular storage, and looking at the various ways that I perhaps I'm going to try and do that budget depending and also I'll be giving updates as to whether I decide to buy more NWT items so with that this concludes today's videos and we'll see you next time